before I do my intro, I want to do a little reaction with you guys. You know, my sniper. No! To... <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, so take a seat and let's indulge ourselves into the lovely Yuko Yurai. I banned the Gura. Gura is a banned term in both my YouTube comments and my YouTube live streams. Around my debut and a few weeks following after, there were a lot of wacky comments with silly comparisons. I'm unoriginal or I'm copying my Oshi because yes, Gura is my Oshi. And now see this, this is an issue. Static Tokyo Sun So here's the thing. BTubers, they get inspired by other BTubers, but you guys, yeah nigga, I'm talking to you, are just a little passionate when it comes to your anime woman and 2D titties, which is cool until someone starts getting harassed. Now, this video is going to be talking about copying, or more so what copying is and the difference between drawing inspiration and copying. But before we get into definitions and nerdy shit, I want to talk about a specific individual, Small Lola. Now, someone decided it would be a good idea to nitpick her design in front of like everybody. Fuck you, fuck the plane you flew in on, fuck them shoes, fuck those socks with the bell on it. Like they legit made a whole ass thread. You cannot be for real. I'ma just tell you the parts I think are interesting. So, off rip, she says that Small Lola is seemingly just copying Shy Lily, and even goes as far as to circle parts she thinks are copied or similar, which is like, calm down my nigga, your boner is showing. Like, bro chill out. Anyway, they then go on to say that Small Lola is copying Shy Lily's phrase by saying swam swam, which I will admit you got is very similar to Shy Lily's But I think swam swam is still pretty innocent. It's just a silly little word. After basically breaking down Small Lola's design, they then go on to say, don't send hate to either of the people mentioned in this thread. My nigga, then why'd you say anything? Oh, Daddy, chill. They clearly knew what they were cooking with this sweet, and you clearly don't deserve to be in the kitchen, my nigga. If you seriously didn't want to send hate, why'd you basically call out the person? If you don't like Lola, just say so okay. and move on. Personally, the only similarities I could find was like maybe the skirt and like the ear things they got going. And you're probably wondering, Static, what the fuck show us all of Small Lola's model instead of bits and pieces? Well, Small Lola has stated that she doesn't want her model to be fully seen yet due to her wanting a cool reveal. Sorry, Lola, if I showed too much already. Uh, if you're watching, hopefully everything is better now. But anyway, the person that made this thread got their ass thrashed in the comments, like nonstop. Hell, even I was on their ass because to me, it didn't make sense. And for more background info, this same claim has kind of already happened to Lola before. Go watch Alara's video if you want to know more about that. And now that she is switching things up, it's just happening again, and arguably even more now. Other examples. Now, obviously, this doesn't just happen to Small Lola. Uh, as we've seen from the beginning of the video, Yuko gets compared to Gura, Raybo's got compared to Gura, Mariyume got compared to Nanners. Basically, it's her any cat girl, and they've probably been compared to Nanners at some point. We had the whole ghosty situation before. Hell, even Shy Lily was being compared to Vey because they sound similar, which I will talk about personality copying later in the video, so stick around. Alright, now let's talk about someone that actually copied. Yeah, that's right. Me. Don't care. Don't care. If you go back in time and watch my first commentary videos, which you don't. Yo, this shit is actually trash! Don't fucking melt the skin off your bones. Please don't do that to yourself. Uh, you will notice that there is a crazy similarity. It's it's a simple reskin of, of Obanai. That motherfucker's cheating! Now don't get me wrong. I don't make money off of those videos at all. We're not rich! We're broke! And when I started to take YouTube serious, I did commission my own shit, which evolved into what you see now. But let's go over why this is copying. He's cheating! He's cheating! Well, it's literally just Obanai but black with red eyes. That's not transformative at all. Uh, copying is a imitation, transcript, or reproduction of an original work, which is exactly what this is. Now it's obviously clear, I've never claimed this shit to be my own work. That would be fucking dumb. I probably wouldn't have a platform anymore because I'd be seen as a copying bitch. But now hopefully you can see that this is straight copying, 
and this isn't. <sighs> Using myself as an example may get me cooked later, but whatever, let's keep it going. <laughs> Using myself as an example again, you can tell that I got my inspiration from Obanai. I still got the snake, I still got bandages over my mouth, but now it's transformed. I have completely different clothes. <clears throat> I have dreadlocks because I have dreadlocks IRL. <clears throat> I'm black because I'm black IRL. If I wasn't black, they, that would be a whole different issue in and of itself. I don't even want to fucking think about it. Basically, inspiration is an idea or a concept that you see and you make it your own. Just like Small Lola was probably inspired by Shy Lily and made it their own. Or how Yuko was probably inspired by Gura and made it their own. Even though Yuko is a, is a ghost. So I, I don't know if I can rightfully say that, but whatever. But that leads into something else Yuko said. Let's play a little bit more of that video from earlier. Because he has gross and OC. And but I copy her jokes, her mannerisms, blah 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 blah, the way she speaks, etc. Personality copying. Like Yuko mentioned, she would be called out for copying mannerisms and jokes, speech patterns, and so on, whatever. Which is obviously not true if you watch Yuko. A long time ago, Shy Lily and Vey were heavily being compared based on how they speak, like their accent or whatever, which kind of angered Vey a little. Months ago, that person did not sound like me. So, now that they do, it's weird. So we don't talk about it. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not at a point where I want to time the name out, but I don't yet yeah, know. No, 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 I don't like it. No free clout. Can I read this to my doppelganger? Doppelganger channel? Bro, at that point. <laughs> you know what? I'm at a point where it's like, you wanna settle for less? Go ahead. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh Ah, damn, she must be annoyed. But they're cool now. They're they're fine. There's no beef. Please, there's no beef. Uh, personality copying is self-explanatory. You copy how someone acts, maybe even how someone speaks. Maybe take a gimmick or two. Corey X Kenshin. Yes, I know, not a VTuber. Now I gotta pull up. This is the best example I can come up with right now. Uh, it's probably one of the more well-known gaming channels. Uh, even though Bro uploads like every wow. other leap year. Uh, but with that being said, Cory clones started to pop up that take his distinct personality, even some of his bits. A YouTuber trying to rise up, actually being yourself. Everybody thinks you're Cory. So let's go to you guys and welcome. Cory Kitchener, welcome. Why do y'all niggas gotta bite another nigga style? It's so goofy. Anyway, we also see smaller indie VTubers low-key copy bits and pieces from bigger VTubers. I won't name names because that's just mean, but they know who they are. Now being influenced isn't a conscious decision per se, this more so happens when you consume a lot of the content you like. For example, I watch a lot of people I would consider funny, that basically says whatever they want. By watching me, you probably could see what influence is coming from where. And obviously, I'm not just an amalgamation of other creators, I sprinkle a little bit of this. Fall asleep. <clears throat> a little bit of that. But like you go said, uh, she is a big inspiration of mine. However, I am my own individual. Fun fact, people can come up with the similar ideas at the same time. I know, shocker, right? Really shouldn't be. If you're actually shocked, you might need to look up how many people live on Earth. Anyways, it's very possible for two people just to come up with similar ideas. There's multiple cat VTubers, there's multiple bat VTubers, there's multiple shark VTubers, there's multiple VTubers in general. Of course, we're going to see two designs that are similar. It's bound to happen. Also, keep in mind when you call someone a copycat, that is insulting, especially when it's clear that they aren't. Not only to the person behind the model, but to the people that worked on a model as well. All in all, nothing is purely original. When you create something, you gained inspiration from something, whether you like it or not. Uh, and yeah, all the VTubers shown will be linked in the description, especially Small Lola. Go show her some love. I personally think she deserves it after all the bullshit she's been going through. Uh, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe because a lot of people don't. Hit the notification bell because I do stream here on YouTube. If you want to support financially and get my videos early, you can do that by hitting the join button to become a member or become a patron on my Patreon for the same benefits. You can also send a tip using the link. I also have a Discord and my other socials in the description as well. That's going to be all for me. Peace.